Well, they call that the gateway to the west. But ironically enough, we're on the other side of it, and it's our last round in the east for Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Jason Wygant, Jim Holly here for Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Four rounds remain in the tour. You can get your webcast subscription for just $17.99 now. We keep bringing the price down. It's four races to go, and you really want to tune into the show because it's a stretch run, and the championship is tightening up, Jim. Well, it is, and we're going to use that arch. I mean, we're going west after yeah. this. we got Seattle, Salt Lake City, and then Las Vegas, and that's it. But the R&R uh, &R show moves west, and I'm talking <laughs> Ryan Dungey and Ryan Villapoto. Only 12 points separate these guys right now, and a very key race here in St. Louis uh, for uh, Ryan Dungey to try and make up those points. Uh, he's got to finish ahead of him. You know, if uh, Villapoto uh, is still on that roll, you got to remember that the last five races, Villapoto's won four of those races. Uh, Dungey only winning one of those in, in Dallas, but uh, it's going to be critical to see if uh, Kevin Windham, Ivan Tedesco, Chad Reed, if other guys are going to play a big factor and step up and get in between those guys. Uh, Dungey can't afford to do that again like he did last weekend. Uh, he's going to have to either be right behind Villapoto at the finish or right ahead of him to try and make up those points that he lost last week. We've been waiting all year for these guys to actually battle it out in a race. They almost have to now if they want the championship. They're going to have to fight. You can't just cruise to a championship if you're Dungey like Christophe Porcel, meanwhile, did in East Lights. He looks like he's cruising every time he's on the bike, and he already has that crown wrapped up, and we don't even run the last race yet. Well, he's got five wins already. We'll see if he can do uh, six wins uh, of eight. You know, those other two races, he had some problems. He had a third, and I believe he had a seventh. But uh, it's too bad that Austin Stroop's out of there. But you know what? A lot of guys are looking for their first win, and I'm talking Dean Wilson. And he was going for it last weekend. Uh, he was trying to get into second there the last lap. I like that move, but unfortunately uh, went down, finished up ninth. Uh, you know, Barsha, he wants to come away with another win. He's only got one this year up in uh, Toronto. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Blake Baggett with that second last weekend, he'd like to get another win, right. uh, another rookie. Uh, so, and, and also the veteran, uh, you know, Brett Metcalf, he's still looking for a win, as well as Martin Davalos. And, uh, you know, there's a plethora of riders that are looking for their first win still. And this is it. This is the last round on the East before we head West. And there's something about St. Louis that usually lends itself to crazy racing. We had the Travis Pastrana show here last year. We've had some wild uh, James Stewart, Chad Reed battles here. Riders seem to like the dirt. And uh, this point of the season, it doesn't really matter what the layout is. They've pretty much seen it all. So track should lend itself to some good racing. Well, it will. I mean, just because of the fact that, like you said, it's a beautiful day out here. It's sunny. The track, the dirt's really nice. There's a lot of line selections that guys can get creative out there. I remember, uh, you know, when Trey Kennard and uh, Ryan Villapoto were going yep. for that life championship yeah, yeah. and they came together. So anything can happen. But this is the last of the domes. I mean, that's it. The rest of the stadiums are going to be outdoors, and that could be, play a big factor next weekend when we head out to uh, the Pacific Northwest. Seattle and rain could play a big factor. Well, we hope to see you there in Seattle or maybe here in St. Louis, or if not, subscribe to our webcast at supercrossonline.com, and we'll have updates all day from here in St. Louis.